back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Uh, yeah, so today has been quite a nice day. Full of um, good things, <laughs> good news. Uh, seeing Bitcoin hit, almost hit, let's go over here, almost hit $100,000. It, it's, it's even increased it's all-time high just in the last, uh, what time was it? At 9.20 p.m., so like in the last 25 minutes, it has hit another all-time high because before it was 99014 uh, uh, $99,014. Now it's $99,314. So this is really good. Because we all know that if Bitcoin is doing its thing, if it's the higher it goes, the higher the altcoins are going to go, right? Um, so this is awesome. And the good news that we've had today, what was it? Gary Gensler is going to step down. He's essentially gone, right? He's got, uh, what is today, the 21st, he's got two months <laughs> bye Gary so long fella <laughs> so who would have ever thought right I mean I had hopes that things would turn around but who would have ever thought we would see Gary Gensler all the stuff that he tried to pull and really kind of screwing us all up I mean the last bull run uh, with XRP especially not hitting uh, the the levels it should have, it, it really screwed us up, those of us who hold XRP. So, yeah, he's gone now. And with that being said, we have a crypto-friendly uh, president taking office. And just imagine, I can only imagine who Gary will, will be replaced with. It, it's... You know, it's, yeah, it's awesome. It, it makes me feel really good that uh, we could very well see the most powerful bull run we have ever seen, ever. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome uh, to see everything that's going on. I mean, the only thing, of course... The, uh, the elephant in the room is the possibility of World War III. But like I said before, I, I just really don't think it's time for that. You know, I could be wrong, but as you saw, like I mentioned last time, right? Number one, we saw with Gary's um, um, Gary saying that he was going to step down, we saw a pump in crypto, right? That's bullish for crypto. Um, and we saw uh, a little bit, I mean, even though we saw uh, Russia uh, drop a few things on, on Ukraine, it wasn't what it could have been. Those were essentially conventional bombs that he dropped. Uh, those were absolutely nuclear capable. So, yeah, that, that was a good, that was also good. But uh, personally, I think uh, we may see, it's, you know, it's possible we might see another, you know, kind of a scary uh, scenario that comes out of that. But I think ultimately we're going to make it to inauguration day. We're going to make it uh, past it. And we're going to start seeing as, as bad as these last four years were, these next four years are going to be much better, you know, in relation to crypto, in relation to financial things. What happens after, uh, who knows? But, uh, I mean, all in all, I, I truly think we're going to see some amazing things. And I'm talking outside of crypto. Now, I want to show you guys something that I found uh, pretty interesting. So let me see here, right here. Okay, so the other day, the other day, uh, I don't want to put that sound on here. This is what Elon t tweeted the other day. When was it? Um, does it say the 17th? OK. And I, I found it really interesting because he tweeted this um, 
I think it was the day, uh, either the day of or the day after um, Biden had authorized all of, you know, uh, Ukraine to use the, 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 the equipment, right? But, and I found it very interesting that he would post this. Now, it could obviously be nothing, but I found it interesting. You know, like, like I said, it's, it, it may mean absolutely nothing, but the fact that he put this here and also we have all of this stuff going on with, you know, aliens, so-called aliens and UFOs, who better, well, I'll say who else would be more so in the know than Elon? I mean, at this point, maybe he's, I'm sure they're not getting the the, the briefings and any of that stuff yet, but I'm more than sure Trump has already shared what he knows with Elon. And with Elon being the, you know, heading this, anything about space at this point, um, I'm pretty sure, or at least I would, I would say, I'd go out on a limb and say that this right here is a hint. Okay. So again, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going out on a limb, but either way, I would say just prepare yourselves for some pretty crazy things to happen. Right. Um, now outside of this, let's go back to the crypto thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we already talked about Bitcoin hitting almost 100,000. And here we are again. I would say tomorrow's Friday. If we have another weekend like we've had, um, especially the one we had a couple weekends ago. Oh, we're going past 100,000. I think uh, 100,000 for Bitcoin is a psychological level. I'm more than sure that once it's passed, it won't stop until it's close to ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand, one hundred and ten thousand dollars. And as I mentioned before, um, if it goes to one hundred and ten, if it's if, you know no higher than one hundred and ten, I personally think we can pretty much most of the uh, I'll say uh, most of the mid cap coins, right? Well, you know what I mean by that would be like. Um, uh, XRP is, I can really consider a mid cap and, 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 uh, what else? Um, uh, ADA, uh, Tron, um, what else? Uh, Doge and, uh, you know, those types of coins, right. That, that were big, uh, the last cycle and the cycle prior, I think those are probably going to hit somewhere around uh, they're, gonna, they're they're probably going to do a, either a, a three between a three and five x from their last all time high. Okay, uh, I think XRP is a little bit different. It's there's a possibility now. You know, I'm not sure if it's going to quite hit thirty. It's just it should have already um, hit ten dollars. You know, as I mentioned before, it should have already hit ten dollars. This cycle. It should be hitting like twenty to thirty dollars is is where it should be going, Pro possibly even more. Uh, you know, generally the uh, the coins always wick higher than the than the actual uh, solid. You know that solid candle, but I'm thinking even this one, it would. I, I'm gonna take some chances on fifteen between fifteen and twenty bucks. Uh, not all of it. I, I think I'm gonna you know offload a, a decent amount. So I'm sitting well at around 10 bucks, but I'm also going to take some, take a chance on, you know, somewhere between 15 and $20. And that's, that's just me. You already know I'm not a financial advisor, so don't do what I'm telling you. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So yeah, this is, uh, uh, this is going to be really interesting. Now getting back to Bitcoin. So that's if it hits $110, $110,000. Now, um, if Bitcoin were to go higher than that, right? Because uh, I think the last all-time high, the last cycle, oh shoot, what was it? Let's go, uh, the last all-time, it was 66,000, okay? So, uh, yeah. So, 
and we can't count this one because this is in this pretty much in this cycle. Earlier this year was still like this cycle. Um, now, I think if it is possible, if if Bitcoin does a two x from its last all time high, that puts it in the range of about a hundred and thirty thousand. Okay, uh, somewhere around there, hundred and thirty thirty. I mean. 132 is technically 2x, but I'm saying maybe, you know, 120 to $130,000. Okay. If it gets somewhere around there, I think the altcoins can absolutely do a, you know, four to have four to five X that that's where they're going to land somewhere around there. And again, like I said, this is basically, uh, it's, it's just based on how much money uh, these different um, people and institutions have to then turn around. Once Bitcoin gets where it, where it's going to go, they sell and then they turn around and put it in altcoins, right? Um, it, the the sky is really the limit because we've never seen such a positive and friendly environment for crypto. This is, you know, really unprecedented. We've always fought with uh you know with the um officials and whatnot uh just acting like crypto is even you know it, it even exists much less having someone who is uh who's who's friendly um i think it's very possible also we could get uh a kind of a uh, you know maybe a mid-cycle run you know somewhere in, after january uh well okay so let me rephrase that a mid-cycle run would be in 2026. Uh, I think it's possible we could get a decent mid-cycle uh, uh, mid run. But also, I think we could do something similar to 2021. Okay? Now, 2021 was totally unexpected the way things happened. We had a double top pretty much, right? Um, now going into this cycle again with the positivity towards crypto especially in the united states and people feeling more optimistic about the economy about everything the sky's the limit the sky's and i don't want to get on here and just oh we're going to the moon we're going to saturn you know no no i'm not i'm i'm going off of the emotions that people are going to be feeling and going through uh, coming out of s a, such a terrible time these last four years. And yeah, I don't do, of, of course, you guys know, I'm, I don't do the technical analysis. I've thought about uh, getting into it, but there are tons of people who do that, right? I'm going a different route and, you know, purposely, right? Uh, I'm in technology. It's not like I can't you know, get into it. It's just, I want to go a different route because I think it's very valuable to understand people's emotions, what's actually, you know, kind of driving them because that's what is, is, is happening. That's what technical analysis is, 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 is looking at the emotions that people are going through. So looking at this myself, and just like I said in my last video, that if Gary uh, does resign, which essentially, technically he has, we would see a bull run, right? Um, I think the emotional aspect of that, the uh, euphoria or the optimism from seeing someone who, who's so treacherous, <laughs> who's so malicious, actually leaving, the emotion and, and the uh, the elation that comes from that has absolutely pushed uh, pushed everything higher, and and it's going to keep going, right? Because as we move on, as the this war starts to kind of calm down, as good news comes out of that. Now, don't get me wrong; we could see another dip uh, here. We could get some more bad news. You know, there's that is always a possibility. But we're in a bull cycle now. So even if we get that dip, it's just going to turn right back around. 
So again, sky's the limit. No one can really say, I mean, you can look at the extensions and all that other stuff. No one can really say where things are going to go, right? We just can't because uh, we are in a totally different environment, it's something we've never dealt with before. Even back in 2017, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't so much that there was a lot of negativity. Of course, there was, you know, of course, there was some negativity. We were hearing China is banning Bitcoin and all this, you know, different stuff. But there was no real direct uh, hate uh, that was high profile other than I think Trump actually <laughs> mentioned something negative about it. But it wasn't like it has been in the last few years, okay, last two, three, four years. But now, in this environment, what is it going to be like? That's what, that's what we're about to find out. We're about to find out um, how, how things are when we have the, the full weight of a government like the U.S. behind crypto. It's going to be interesting to see. And I know I've just yapped on and yapped on. But, you know, it's just something that's been going on in my head. I, I kind of think about these things at night when I can't go to sleep. Um, I'm really, uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty optimistic. I'm really bullish right now. Uh, I think, again, that we could see anywhere between three and five. It, it, it conservatively, three to five X from last all time high for most coins. Now. Uh, last cycle, I think uh, blockchain backer mentioned only a few, I think, I can't remember the, the ratio, but only a few of the coins actually went into all-time high last time. But again, we were just coming off of the, uh, off and, and well, we were just coming off the, uh, the uh, pandemic. Although people had money, you know, from the stimulus and all that, it still was in a. It, it was still a, an environment where uh, the U.S. was not crypto friendly. We had Gary Gensler. We had all this stuff going on that, even though people had more money, they weren't really feeling the love. I'll say. So now, and again, this is you know new territory. Now that we have a positive outlook for you know everyone. Yeah, people are a little more or are more cash strapped, but we're also going to see in more institutions coming in. We're going to see uh, just a different dynamic happening as it relates to crypto. Right. So we'll see. I don't want to keep yapping on about that. Let's just see what happens. Um, Gary Gensler has gone by Gary and. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm bullish and I'm, I'm very optimistic, and uh, I think, I think this time it's going to be pretty nice. I think, uh, I think this is going to pretty be pretty nice. Now, again, we're looking at two different levels. If if Bitcoin only goes to between uh, what is it, 105 and 110 thousand, um, then you know it's going to be a three to four three, four, maybe five X, um, probably more between three and four X for most cryptos, um, for the mid caps, the ones that we're probably most, you know, most of you guys are, are actually invested in. Uh, but if it goes higher, if it goes around 20, 120, 130, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty crazy. So anyway, let's just see what happens. And, um, I'm thinking about, I'm trying to decide if I should stream uh this weekend or something we'll see we'll see i'll uh you'll you'll see the notification i'll make sure i I'm, i'll try to send something out so you guys are warned it's just doesn't just drop it on you um so yeah we'll see you guys uh if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that like button and uh, also subscribe i mean i like i said as you can tell i'm, I'm trying to be more consistent here and uh, yeah, let's just see where we can go with this. There's gonna be I'm gonna bring I'm gonna start bringing other information, uh, not just crypto. There's a lot happening in the world. So hey, why let's not uh, why not why not talk about it, right? Let's just see what happens, guys. Uh, but again, 
Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the post notification button. And until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.